but we got a little uh, kind of lobule or a small nodule of uh, vascular channels, and usually we see small little thin wall channels when we get biopsies in, but this has both thick and uh, maybe at the periphery in particular, somewhere thin walled, so probably good for a true arteriovenous malformation or hemangioma. Hemangioma is probably a better term. Yeah, good. That's right. And I know you, you're saying it with caution because you know I'm about to lash out at you. I'm just kidding. But uh, because I, it's not my favorite term, but, but in dermatopathology, they, these are called arteriovenous hemangiomas. The, the reason I don't really like it is that it sounds a lot like arteriovenous malformation. And true AVMs usually are in deep soft tissue. They have high flow to low flow on a Doppler ultrasound. And, and these are just, a, what we're looking at here is not that. This is not like a real arteriovenous high flow to low flow situation. These are actually just a hemangioma or a malformation, I'm not sure which, that have a pattern of thick walled vessels that, that to some people look like arteries and veins. Well, I'll tell you this, all arteries must have some, I mean, all hemangiomas and, and vascular lesions have to have some arterial flow. I mean, how's the blood get there otherwise, right? It has to get there through arterial type things. And I would also argue that if you look at these, they are probably not real arteries, most of them, because they don't have internal elastic laminas, right? They're just thick, muscular walled, probably mostly venous channels. But in any case, for, for testing purposes or teaching purposes, people like to call this uh, an arteriovenous pattern or type of hemangioma. Um, I just would call this benign hemangioma or benign vascular malformation. It doesn't really matter, but that's that's what people classically teach these are arteriovenous hemangioma. But I think the main point I'd make is that this is different than a true AVM, arteriovenous malformation of deep soft tissue. This is not the same thing. But they're just they're just a, a benign hemangioma or malformation that has thick muscular walls around many of the vessels, and then some that are thinner. And like you said, the, the vessels look quite different. It is a very distinct, recognizable thing, whatever name you want to call it. It definitely looks different than a, a capillary hemangioma you know, or a cherry hemangioma that we see uh, all the time. These look different than that.